I am bling from the continent of Africa, from the largest diamond mine in the world, Francis Town, Botswana. My superpower is to shine, to illuminate, to ignite your gifts, your purpose, and your superpowers. One of the things that drew me to you and to the uh, those that you're working with was the ability to inspire and to motivate our students with what we know innately exists within them, which is this superpower. Well, I could go on and on about me, but instead I want you to figure out and meet some of these amazing students at Keene University. I'm so proud of them because they are really working hard to discover what their superpowers are, uh, what their kryptonite is, and more importantly, how to connect their passion to their purpose. And I want you to come up with your name of your superpower. When we think about superheroes, normally we think about physical attributes, you know, physical prowess. Yeah, my superpower's name is Time, and he has super speed, that's his ability. Alright, my superpower name is Brain Shark. I can use over 10% of my brain. My superhero name is M, because I materialize things and I can dematerialize. And my name is Footwork. Darkness falls, so everywhere I go, I create darkness. See, so my superhero is Almighty Julio. I'm the healer. I would decide to say hindsight. The female finder. My superhero is named Chi, and she has the ability to heal both people and situations. My superpower is Mind Reader. Okay. And we want them to tap into the superpower that we know exists, we know lays dormant or is somewhere underneath, uh, you know, that diamond in a rough. So I have an idea to round up all the people in the town that have guns. Together in one area, since I can't fail, I can do it, can I? Yes. So I'm gonna round them all up and then I'm gonna let them take it. So when this whole thing is going down, so if anyone gets hurt, whatever, I'm the healer, so I can help whoever needs. I will take like things from people if they have like objects in their hand, like guns, knives, whatever, I just take it from them if there's like something bad going down. So with all this weaponry, I can dematerialize them and turn them to iron blocks. So there's no more guns, no more violence. My, I would decide to say hindsight, because as an architecture student, you have to see things from different perspectives. He lives in the streets of Camden. He wants to stop crime, drugs, all that, all that, because I lost a lot of friends to it, so therefore I'd rather stop it instead right. of engaging it. Uh, nah, I'm just, you know, I'm a sensei, I'm a master of all things. Okay. okay. <laughs> had a weakness, just like us, that the kryptonite where Superman is from is actually his weakness. This should be uh, power what again? Um, like memory. Memory. <laughs> but I don't have a great memory, so I mean that could be my weakness. Yes. I think it's interesting that we have a character who's big and strong and amazing, but his one thing that could take him down is his inability to control his emotions, his anger. And my weakness is, I guess, not being fast enough. I feel like that's everyone's weakness as far as time because, you know, you never know when your clock runs out. He, he, he's like Wolverine, so he got a little temper. You are whole and you are secure in who you are. It doesn't even matter what other people think. Add some more things up here. Just some things that you love about yourself. Some things that are good. Your positive traits. Because I want you to focus more on that. Okay? And every compliment you've ever gotten, that's great. But what do you think about yourself? I want to be a pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Architect is the way to go. It can prove my talent. It's something I love to do. And I can relate and I can influence others. My mind is more to help others. So, yeah, and the fact that I can control that is the most wonderful thing ever. What's your, what's your costume look like? Oh, it got ripped shorts, a ripped shirt, a chain with a J on it. I got the Ninja Turtle type thing. So just 
doing it, just taking me back to like my childhood where I was, you know, where you're happy, no worries. You could just draw different colors. So this just really just bring you back and just bring you to a happy place. Using art and just using your mind as well to create things and just be free. It's very nice when you finally come to that point where you recognize that this is your sweet spot. It is a uh, truly an opportunity for me to give back to a community that gave me so much. Oh, you think you're better than me? You think you're faster than me? No, 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 no. See, I got the bling and I got the light. Bottom line is, I want you to have your light. I want your light to shine. And remember, there is power in the sweet spot. Well, you know, there is an Ishtar who's like the goddess of love and beauty, but... <laughs> <laughs>